Okay, just real quick, I wanted to I wanted to stick this little clip in before we get started. Uh, before you do anything as far as the upgrade to Flash uh, to uh, revision 19 um, or release 19, however you want to look at it, R19 um, from R11, you have to remove your original the the, the Flash from uh, the Arch Linux. Uh, repository, the official repositories. Let me go ahead and pull this open. And if you don't know how to do that, you're going to do this. You're going to do a sudo pacman s or dash r rather, and it's flash plugin. Okay, right like that. Run that first. I don't have it installed, but you're going to have to run this first to take it out. You know, because you want to take out the old flash before you put in the new one. Um, I suppose you can do it afterward, but just for the sake of you know keeping everything straight. You're going to want to do that. Um, another thing that I, I do touch on a little bit later is you want to make sure you have Yaourt. Uh, and if you don't have Yaourt installed, because the packages we're going to install are going to come from the Arch Linux user repository, and you need to use Yaourt for it. If you don't have Yaourt installed already, I have two videos showing how to do it. I highly recommend doing the latest one, because that is the easiest way to install Yaourt. And that's just by installing a, a repository and then using Pac-Man. And I'll put a link to that video below so that you can go ahead and get that but definitely remove the official uh, f the, the flash player plugin um, that you probably have installed from the official repositories before you get this going and make sure you have Yaourt okay uh, once you have that you should be good to go all right now with that being said let's get to the video and let's show you how to upgrade your flash to the latest and greatest uh, flash available thanks Hello YouTube, got a special video for you today. One of the biggest problems that we've had is with our Flash plugin. Um, a long time, for a very long time, um, Adobe has not supported uh, or given us Linux support for the Flash plugin. So we've been kind of stuck at uh, version 11, I think, or revision 11, or release 11, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we've been stuck with that for a long time because that was the last one that was um, supported. But you do have an option. There is another way and to get an upgraded version. So if you run into all those errors where it's saying that your 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 flash is not recognized or it, it can't find flash or all this other kind of stuff with some other things like I, I know there's a lot of like Facebook games and things like that that use that's flash media or shockwave media and it it doesn't recognize our flash plugin. Well, there is an alternative. There is something better we can do, and I'm going to show you how to do it right here today. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Yaourt installed, because we're going to install some stuff from the Arch Linux user repository, and you need Yaourt for that. Now, if you don't have Yaourt installed, I have a couple videos shows you how to do it. I highly recommend the one that is entitled, like, Installing Yaourt Easily, or something to that effect. I'll put a link down below. Um, but that is hands down the easiest way to do it, and you do need Yaourt to... Uh, accomplish that. And one thing you're also going to need before we go is make sure that you have the base develop package installed. It is going to use a lot uh, of uh, modules within that package. It will use several in order to do the install. So make sure you have that done. Um, and that again is just, you know, you just want to Pac-Man dash capital S and then base develop. If you didn't do it at the time of your Arch Linux installation, you can, you can do it now. But you are going to need both of those things before we get started. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need the what they call the Pepper Flash uh, module, and that is located in several different things. I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way, um, but maybe not the quickest and easiest way. But if you are not already using Google Chrome, the actual Chrome or Chromium, um, then you are going to need this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the actual Google Chrome, and I'm going to type in Yaourt, O U R T. And it's Google dash Chrome. I'll hit enter and it'll come up and there it is. It's number one on the list. So I'm going to hit one, hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and do its thing. It's going to start downloading and it's also going to do the, uh, do a check for you here at edit. You can hit no, and then it's going to go through and it's going to look for these items. See, I have a lot of these things installed already, but I need these other three things, and it's going to actually get those for me. So I'm going to hit no to the edit again, and I'm going to hit enter for continue, and then put in my password. 
and proceed with the installation. I'm going to hit enter for yes, and now I'm going to let it go. This should not be very big at all. It's only like a half meg um, download, and then it's going to run through, do its thing. At least that was for the dependencies. Uh, now the dependencies are done. This is one thing that I love about um, Yaworth now is it's, it's actually pretty intuitive before you would actually have to go through and check all the dependencies first um, before you put it in. Um, which, if you run into problems, definitely make sure you do that. And you can look this up in the AUR. Um, just look, just do a Google search for the actual package name in this. In this example, it would be Google Dash Chrome, and then uh, type in like Arch Linux. And if you do, if you do a Google search for that, it'll bring up this package. You just go over there and look at see what the dependencies are. That's if you run into problems. I don't think you will, but if you do, definitely make sure that you know you go ahead and do that now. Um, this is going to take just a little while for for the package to download. It looks like it's going to take another four minutes. So I'm going to speed up the video or uh, cut it, and then we'll pick it up when it's done. Okay, now that it, it's done downloading, we're going to go ahead and hit enter for continue to run package, um, or continue installing the, the package. So put in our password proceed with the installation, hit yes, and let it go ahead and finish installing Google Chrome. And now that this is done, um, I'm going to clear the screen real quick. Now we have to install one other package and then we should be good to go. We can go in and then double check Firefox to make sure it's all set. But um, the package is also in Yaourt, so it's Y-A-O-U-R-T, and the package name is Fresh Flash or fresh player plugin dash git okay and there it is number one and we're going to hit one enter and what this is going to do is this is going to allow this uh, the, the pepper flash to be able to be used for um, Firefox or Opera or anything else um, that uh, it, it doesn't normally wouldn't normally be able to use it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit no here. I'm gonna hit no on the enter again, and then I'm gonna hit enter for continue building and let it go through and do its thing. Um, shouldn't take too long. Okay, now we're going to uh, hit enter for uh, to continue and then enter to go ahead and do the installation and now it's done so that should be your upgrade but let's double check I want to open up Firefox we go ahead and bring this over here real quick now from here what you want to do is you want to go to edit and you want to go down to preferences and then you want to go to con or, uh, applications okay now when you go down here and you scroll down you're gonna see shockwave flash what you want to see is you want to see this one use shockwave flash in Firefox okay now one other thing that we're, we're gonna also want to do is we're gonna check to make sure that the plugin is available so go over to tools go over to uh, add-ons and then right here under plugins you'll actually see shockwave flash and instead what you should see now is Shockwave Flash 19. At least at the time of this recording, that is the uh, version that we're that we're uh, that we're actually able to use. That's included in the Google Chrome. That's why you had to install Google Chrome first. It was in order to get this module so that the wrapper could do its job. Okay, so that is your upgrade, and now you should be able to um, do a lot of things that you should uh, you weren't able to do before. And hopefully this has helped you out, but definitely, definitely get the word out. Let everybody know that you're not stuck with the, you know, the flash, the, the standard uh, flash player plugin. Um, there is an option and we can actually upgrade flash now. Um, I, I know that the, it, it's still, it's a, it's a package and you know, a project that is, is constantly evolving and they're still working on it. But as it is right now, I've not run into a lot of problems with it and it seems to be working pretty well. You may run across some bugs, so don't blame me too bad if you do, but it's been my experience so far that I've actually been able to do a lot more with this plugin and this wrapper, um, th this upgrade, if you will, 
um, than I than I could with the original you know standard Flash Player plugin from the Arch Linux or from the Arch Linux official repository. So uh, definitely you know like subscribe, definitely share this. You know let everybody know. Um, throw it up on your your social media. You know throw you know if you got Facebook or Twitter or something like that, throw it up there. Um, let people know that there is an alternative and there's there's something better. You know for other Arch users um, that we do have an alternative and it actually works pretty well um, with that I'm gonna go ahead and end the video um, hope this has helped out uh, again please like subscribe and share uh, visit us over at www.bahamados.com and thanks a lot for watching stay tuned for future